Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mitzi69 and welcome back to the channel. Today we have the second missile tank in the game and that is the tier 10 American light tank, the Sheridan. Um, great tank, fantastic tank. But as I said yesterday, playing the both, I, I probably prefer the T95E1. Um, it just feels, it just feels a lot better for me uh, because it has some armor um, and also it sees tier 8 whereas the Sheridan hasn't got no armor but what it does have it has spaced armor all around literally all around and that's fantastic that's great because so many people see you oh my god I can penetrate with HE they shoot and it does literally no damage like 200 damage someone with a big gun and doing 200 damage so but it's still a lovely tank, absolutely lovely tank. The DPM is uh, 2,494. The reload is 13.47. That is with the rammer. Uh, if you load calibrated shells, uh, the DPM goes to, let's have a look, 2,319, which is still good, and 14.49 seconds on the reload, which is two seconds better than the T92E1. The penetration very good at 252 and the heat, uh, the heat at 374 which is absolutely amazing. Uh, 99 on your HE and again just like the T92E1 the same amount of damage 560, 566, 80. Reload time I think is slightly worse at 4.4 and the dispersion is again is very good at 3, 0.380 and again Six, uh, 10 degrees of gun depression and 65 kilometers per hour and just like the T92E1 the shell velocity is absolutely fantastic so we're going to get into some battles firstly we're going to show you some Iverson battles and we're going to show you how I always say not to play the tank unless you are Iverson so this first battle we're going to watch Iverson and he's one of the best players in the game at using these rockets I just don't know how he does it. Now, just watch this. Crazy. Absolute crazy. And he just he doesn't just do this once. He does it all the time. And he very rarely misses. Now, if anyone was to say that the missiles are broken, it's because of this guy, Iverson. Uh, it, I just don't know how he does it. You try this, you're going to miss 90% or 99% of the time. Now, he's going to go for a blind shot there. Not sure if he hits... This is, if you're going to play the missiles, now, if you're good at them, you can literally dev be, devastation, be devastated. Literally, you can devastate everyone. You don't have to expose yourself. I mean, he's going to get another, look, just look at this. He's going to get a shot on the Jaegeru, and he's in no danger. Just look at that shot. It's absolutely insane. And what Iverson is going to do is he's going to play it exactly how I'm going to tell you not to play this this uh, tank. You do not play the tank like this. It's almost impossible to get these shots off. And every time he does miss, well, every time he shoots, he's always hitting. That one there didn't penetrate the E100, but it still managed to hit him. So I definitely, even though what you're seeing here is absolutely insane, and I again watch, just absolutely crazy, and he's not. So he's just pumped out nearly two k damage, one and a half k damage, and he hasn't been exposed at all. Like what? None whatsoever. He hasn't had to expose himself because he's using these ridge lines. Just look at that. Another shot on that E5 is. It's just, I, I have no words. I literally have no words how he does it. I have no clue how he does it. I want to know how he does it because if you can play the tank like this, then yes, the tank is absolutely freaking broken. The missiles are broken. But I'm still going to stand by my original comment saying the missiles are not broken unless you you can play it like this because this is just insane. Um, but in reality, you're not going to get every player that plays it like Iverson can. And he's just a one-off. He is literally just a one-off. And it's not just occasionally he does this. This is the funny thing. During test, when we tested the tank, he was constantly sending me gifts of shots. It's just like, dude, how? How do you do that? It's it's crazy. It really is crazy. So that's pretty much it from the Iverson. Um, enough of his... Uh, 
stupid shots. I think he might get one more off. No, he's not. He's going to use the uh, the APCR. And that's what I love about Iverson. He uses it wisely. And if he doesn't need to use the heat, he won't use the heat. So now we're back to meet the more important person. And we these two battles we've got two battles and out of these two battles i think we're gonna sh we're gonna shoot the missiles once we're gonna shoot one missile and that is it and this the second game is when we're gonna shoot the missile and when i shoot it that's gonna be the only time i think that you should shoot the missiles i mean iverson here would probably just shoot this t62 like he would and he'd probably hit it i would love to be able to shoot but i'm not even thinking i'm not even thinking do i go do i go missiles or do i wait missiles are not not there like i'm not thinking that i've got missiles and that's how i play the game it's just thinking like in these kind of situations how many players is going to try and take that shot and especially if they're open in the open like now take the shot all of a sudden you're on a 14 second reload someone can poke out kill you or shoot you and you can't do nothing about it so i'm, I'm always careful with what i shoot when i shoot some people are not going to be some people are not going to be they're just going to want to shoot the missiles so now we are going to rush the t62 is pretty low hit points i don't know how again i don't know how i get this shot literally the, the tiny of tiniest of part of his tank i can i couldn't even see but i managed to shoot him anyway and now my team are following they are all pushing which is a great time to push now just watch this 268 full hit points we're going to shoot him once and we're not even going to be able to shoot him again the focus fire is absolutely insane boom 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 gone absolutely gone there goes his hit points the sheridan was literally behind him like dude i've got your back and no actually i'm i'm gone i am gone see you later so i'm gonna go and try and chase the, uh, the sheridan and look don't do this guys if you don't shoot he at a sheridan that's that's the best way don't shoot he at a sheridan there's only some parts of the sheridan that you're going to be able to he in at the end of the replays i'll just show you what i mean by the spaced armor so you can still be penned you can still be penned with he but uh, most of your tank most of your uh, around your tank your hull it is all spaced armor i mean the front the sides the everything and that makes it absolutely fantastic to play because it just trolls so many people but that's at the moment obviously when people start getting to know know the tank a little bit more then you'll probably get less people shooting the he at you um so this battle we we've done what we've done two kills 3.7k damage we're going to get one more shot in on the the kpf uh and we get a nice 700 high roll with the apcr now i don't know what's going on with this miss i'm going to miss now on, on this K, kpf i'm going to get another shot off no idea where it goes like literally no idea and i do miss out unfortunately on the kill but we still managed to get the ace 4400 damage uh we get that quite regularly i mean during test it hasn't changed much during test um and i've got over 100 battles and i'm on what 3.3k average which is pretty good so moving on to the next game mayan ruins now this game is the only game i shoot the shoot the rockets and there is situations there is other situations that you can um shoot the rockets i mean again as i've said before if there was an e100 facing you a mouse facing you then yes you you can shoot the rocket but i really want to guarantee the pen if i'm going to shoot a rocket i want to guarantee that it pens and remember if you do shoot the rocket if, if mouses or e100 or vk 72s come in front of you your rocket your missile has 370 plus pen almost 380 millimeters of pen that is some crazy pen that is absolutely crazy for a light tank yes it is rockets just imagine if that wasn't rockets imagine if that was just normal he it would be insane now we i don't know how we stay alive here i have no idea and i'm gonna hug this rock in a minute as close as i can um but before that this is the only time i'm gonna get the rocket done here and it's because i can't get my gun down but these kind of shots are actually really easy to do because you're literally you're at the hill you're right at the hill so you just need to shoot and poke your poke it down a tiny bit and that was able to pen and that stopped me exposing my whole tank to the enemy team so that's the only time i would recommend in shooting the uh, in shooting the missiles is when you can get shots off like that when you're up a ridge and you just literally need to 
put your gun up and put it back down again and it will pen. When tanks think they're hold down, when tanks think they're hold down, you're the other side of the hill, boom, and then the rocket is, uh, is, is launched and you should be able to pen. I mean, 374, 375 pen. Uh, this is what I mean about HE. That is the weakest part of the tank, the back, I mean, and we only do two on, just over 200 damage. So definitely don't shoot HE out of Sheridan. It's a waste of... Uh, waste of damage it really is a waste of damage i could have done 600 damage to that guy instead i decided i've done 200 um however it doesn't matter i am going to get the shot off when he comes around this corner anyway but i'm going to waste my high roll in taking him out so now there's just two tanks left which is the e100 and the death star now i was going to go for the e100 until i see the death star staring at me so i've go right a little bit we do get the shot off and now it is just the death star and i think he shot because he has the adrenaline so because it's seven against one i mean i'm not too fussed if i die i'm already on four and a half k damage if i can get one more shot off fantastic if i can't we've still done a pretty good job however i do manage to get the shot off leave him on 21 hp and now my team is just going to rush him and there's nothing he can do about it so not a bad game uh, two or th 5,000 damage, sorry, not bad at all. We do make some credits again, 41,000 credits. We get the ace. Uh, it was only what 1200 1300 xp so not not bad so it's a nice tank. Let's just go and show you the armor profile in Blitz Hanger. So, this is what I mean about spaced armor. Just look how all that pink, all the pink is spaced armor you've got it everywhere absolutely everywhere so if you're gonna shoot he at this thing shoot the turret um pretty much anywhere in the turret except for the gun mantlet i probably wouldn't risk shooting the side because it, it's really only behind the track and the rear right at the bottom and the front right at the bottom so anywhere else avoid shooting he and and heat and avoid shooting either heat or he because it's going to do nothing i mean you you have a death star shooting hesh and it's only going to do 500 damage probably maybe less maybe more but it's definitely not going to have the maximum high roll so i would definitely recommend if you're going to shoot he at the thing shoot the turret because if just look how much spaced armor it is it's actually funny at how much spaced armor this tank has got literally everywhere and that really does fool people absolutely fool people so if you're in the middle of the open and there is a td big td death star jaegeru looking directly at you what i'd probably advise is give it you maybe give it your side maybe side as long as you don't give it the side of your turret make sure you face face it with your turret but maybe just turn your tank so it so it hasn't got your the bottom plate maybe like kind of like that angle or even even more even something like that as long as they don't get that bottom plate then you should be okay so i hope you enjoy it, the video guys hope you enjoy the tanks they are fantastic tanks they're really fun tanks to play um i'm really really enjoying them and i'm gonna get grinding the sheridan on my main account i have tested it i've got i've had i've aced it already but i'm gonna start playing the the, the tier nine and hopefully get the tank this tank as soon as possible but i hope you enjoyed it guys i'm meeting 69 and i'll catch you all soon bye bye